Hi, my name is Margaret Magdisian. I'm the CEO and founder of Ananda Devices, and I'll share with you some of the great work we have been doing here in Montreal, Canada. At Ananda Devices, we help companies accelerate the development of therapies for neurological diseases. We are a Canadian company founded in 2015 with a proven multidisciplinary team of over 20 neuroscientists, engineers, and pharmacologists. We provide neurons on a chip models to accelerate and de-risk the development of therapies through contract research services, and we offer over 50 products to accelerate drug development. Our products have been used for compound screening, preclinical, and clinical assays, and our customers include Fortune 500 pharmaceutical industries in 14 countries, including Japan. Our technology has been recognized with 25 awards in science and innovation. As we know, neuronal toxicity is the number one reason for pharmaceutical products failure in the market. It takes a long time to develop a new product, 10 to 15 years, and most of the products fail at the end when they are tested in humans, because 99.6% of drugs targeting neurological diseases that pass animal tests fail in human trials, because animals do not naturally develop diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson, and multiple sclerosis. We need a better model to test that. We need a model that gives us better, more predictive responses to reduce the risk, to reduce failure. What we offer is an in vitro neuronal model for faster and scalable assays. Our goal is to provide a solution that is human-based, physiologically relevant, reproducible, robust, scalable, and compatible with current workflow. And we have te developed technology to test over 3,000 neurons in just 30 minutes, getting a lot of data and reducing the risk of compound development. We, what we offer is speed. We can grow neurons 60 times faster on a chip and we offer scalable. We can organize neuronal networks in a model that looks like a barcode. We can scale this to a full uh, standard plate, and then when we test at least seven data points for a total of 21,000 data points per assay in just 30 minutes. This way, we can screen over 500 compounds and identify the best compounds that reduce toxic effects and reduce neuronal degeneration. Here's a comparison of the application of our technology in chemotherapy-induced neuropathy. We also have validated the technology in Alzheimer's disease using cells from Alzheimer's disease patients. So these are cells from patients tested from a compound from one of our partners, and we can show that the compound significantly increase synapses. We can compare healthy and diseased cells from patients in different assays and give to our customers a full profile of the best compound that is least toxic and most effective. We have already validated our technology in Parkinson, in spinal cord injury. In total, we can support our customers all the way from compound screening to post-development uh, assays. Here's an example. Our technology has been validated for rapid analysis of compound screening, mechanism of action, neurotoxicity, neurodegenerative diseases, neuromuscular diseases, Alzheimer's, Parkinson, ALS, Charcot-Marie Tooth. Let's have a meeting and I can tell you much more of our capabilities. Feel free to contact us at contact at anandadevices.com. Let's accelerate drug development. Thank you. Hello. I'm Hella Beng Jorgensen, the CEO and founder of Competent Boards. I'm proud that Competent Boards, based in Toronto, in Canada, is now recognized as the premium provider of ESG and climate education for board directors, senior executives, investors, and those who advise them. Our programs are designed for those who want global insight and foresight on ESG and climate issues. That's critical to their business and resiliency and success. The programs are designed and built based on the wisdom and experience of the more than 180 world-renowned business leaders who make up our faculty. More than 500 alumni from nearly 50 countries are benefiting from their new confidence in discussing and overseeing topics such as climate change, diversity, equity, inclusion, human rights, shareholder and stakeholder engagement, ratings and rankings and disclosures, supply chain resiliency, carbon markets and more. 
alumni tell us how the programs have benefited their careers and companies, arming them with insights, tools, and most importantly, a powerful new mindset to help them make more informed decisions and to become more resilient, not just surviving, but thriving. At Competent Boards, we are establishing partnerships in various regions around the world and are coming to Japan to seek partners who are interested in taking or helping us deliver our programs in the local market. Japanese companies are known for their sense of purpose and for increasingly applying an ESG lens to investment decisions. ESG and climate education for your business leaders will help provide a source of long-term corporate value and many more opportunities in the global economy. If you see the value in increasing ESG and climate competences for Japanese board directors and executives and investors, we want to work with you. If you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to visit our website at competentboards.com. Thank you very much and I hope to meet you this December in Japan. Hello everyone, my name is Angela Robert and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Conquer Experience. I'm going to show you a quick and fun video to illustrate what happens in operating rooms all over the world today. Dub dub, forceps please. Here you go. That's a piece of celery. Forceps dub dub. Sorry. Here you go. It's two celery. Forceps. Carrot patties. Forceps. That's a different piece of celery. Forceps. No, it's two celery. Never mind, I'll get it myself. <laughs> the challenge that we see happening in the video is stemming from the fact that there are thousands of different procedures and instruments in the operating room. And it's a problem faced by surgeons and nurses across the world. To exacerbate that, there are major staff shortages, the time to train is long, and there is a very limited capacity to train. Now, I'm going to talk about three themes that we have in our market trends that create a tailwind for solving these problems. In blue, there are innovations and adoptions of new learning methodologies. And in yellow, workforce trends that impact this market. And in green, changes in operating room dynamics and process. Now, the PeriopSim learning platform has simulations on desktop, tablet, and in virtual reality, and solves the problem with faster, safer, and better retention, including standardized performance assessments. We've had over 3,000 learners on our platform, 200,000 simulations, and 70,000 experience hours delivered. Now in Japan, there are 1.3 million nurses and midwives. 10% of those are in the operating room. 10 to 20% of those are new trainees each year with an average salary of 7.7 .7 million yen. It works out to over 149.5 billion Japanese yen each year for new hire training in the operating room. Now, we've got some great customers in the US, including Boston Children's Hospital, UC Davis, as well as MedCert. Now in Japan, we've been working closely with Siemens Health and Ears, and we currently have Kumamoto University as a customer. Now, what we're asking for are introductions to healthcare education distributors, associations for nursing or the operating room, deans of nursing at universities, uh, chief nursing officers within health systems, clinical marketing at medical device companies, and ed tech investors, as well as BR investors in digital health. Thank you so much for your attention today. Konnichiwa, bonjour, hello. I'm Pamela Vital, and I'm introducing you to Diagnostic Biochem Canada. DBC has been founded in 1973 by my great-great-uncle. 
I'm the third generation of my family who work for this company. At EBC, we are manufacturing and researching here in Canada ELISA test kit that we are distributing all over the world. The technology is called ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbing assay, and it's based on the use of biomolecules such as antibodies that recognize molecular targets with very high affinity and specificity. All this process takes place in a small microplate that uses a very small sample volume and can run up to 80 specimens from different people at the same time. With this technology, DBC helps physicians to identify or measure the concentration in blood and other uh, human fluids of many important disease biomarkers. Japan is one of the largest clinical laboratory markets in the Asia-Pacific region. And the fastest growing among the top 10 IDD country markets. Japan's quickly aging population means the country is experiencing an explosion of chronic conditions such as diabetes, heart disease and cancer. All of these conditions can be diagnosed and monitored using IVD products. We are used to work with the biggest reference lab in the US, South America and in Europe. Regardless of the instrumentation you're using in your laboratory, we can fully customize our product to your need. Hello, my name is Audra Rainey and I'm the founder and CEO of Ear Access Inc. Ear Access is a Canadian company that sells affordable hearing aids and hearing services worldwide. In Japan, there are over 14 million people who have hearing loss and need hearing aids. And yet there are only 14% that have hearing aids. That means that there are over 12 million Japanese who need hearing aids and don't have them. One of the barriers to accessing hearing aids for people in Japan are the high prices. On average, medical grade hearing aids in Japan sell for over 300,000 Japanese yen. Ear access brings affordable hearing aids to the Japanese market. We sell a line of six types of hearing aids under our elegant Canadian Access brand. We also train people like pharmacists and opticians to start selling hearing aids. Regulatory changes in the laws in Japan are now starting to enable retailers pharmacies, optical chains, other types of retailers to start selling hearing aids. And this is a huge opportunity to start addressing this huge market. So if you're interested in working with us, please contact us and we will be happy to meet with you. Thank you. In today's world, we are all facing a call to action to protect our planet, clean the air we breathe, and create environmental sustainability for generations to come. Ecosystem Informatics Inc. has built the Canary, a comprehensive system that can greatly strengthen these initiatives. It is an end-to-end -end IoT platform that measures air quality and pollution levels in a fully automated way with its mobile sensors. These can be mounted on any moving platform delivering highly accurate results thanks to our patent-pending AI calibration algorithms. The massive cost savings from the Canary's mobile sensors result in a paradigm shift in environmental monitoring. One unit replaces 10 competitor units, offering a unique value to cities to manage their operational efficiencies towards sustainability. 
My name is Shuruk and I am the CEO and founder of Ecosystem Informatics. My vision for this technology is to become an influential source of information, powering smart decisions for a more sustainable world. Thank you. Our world depends on plastics. It has helped advance industries to reach new heights. But these advancements have come at a cost. Our planet is hurting. The world produces 300 million tons of plastic waste every year. That's equivalent to the weight of the entire human population. Most of these plastics were single-use items that are rarely recycled and pollute our ecosystems. Single-use plastics consume 27 trillion liters of water, 3.3 million gigawatts of energy, and emit 900 million tons of CO2. That's a high price to pay for an item used just once. With greater consumer awareness and government influence, industries have started to take action to reduce our plastic pollution, but we know the shift to sustainable materials isn't easy. We started Earthos to drive this shift in the most natural and seamless way possible, with plant-powered materials for our planet. We transform agricultural byproducts into sustainable and compatible alternatives to traditional plastic inputs, also known as resins. At Earthos, we're shifting away from a traditional linear system to a circular one, with materials that are designed with both our industry and our planet in mind. For manufacturers and brands in our industry, our materials are 100% compatible to their existing systems. No retooling, no new equipment, no disruption. A one-for-one -one alternative for single-use plastics. For our planet, our materials create significant environmental benefits, reducing CO2 emissions, saving water and energy, and eliminating plastic waste. After our materials serve their purpose, they compost, returning back to our planet. We believe in holding materials to a higher standard, the Earthos standard. Our standard promises a better planet with better materials. It allows us to protect what matters most. The world depends on plastics, but the future depends on us. The time has come for a positive shift from the inside out. Join us in building a movement for plant-powered materials for our planet. My name is Anar and I'm the co-founder and COO of Fem Therapeutics, and we're on a mission to personalize medicine for women. For far too long, women's health has been underserved, ignored, and even misdiagnosed. Here's the proof. $47 billion has been spent on men's health to solve prostate health issues, while only $14 billion has been spent on gynecological health issues to date this year. Japan is demographically the oldest country in the world with almost 29% of the population over the age of 65. Approximately half of adult Japanese women reported experiencing symptoms of at least one pelvic health condition at some stage in their life. This can include vaginal stenosis, preterm labor, and pelvic floor disorders, all of which affect a woman's quality of life drastically. Current treatment methods involve a one-size-fits-all approach as the first line of non-invasive treatment. These devices rarely stay in place and offer little to no support with a 50% discontinuation rate within the first year. We're here to change that. We've built a data and intelligence platform that allows us to customize medical devices for each patient. First, we leverage medical imaging and quantification tools to simulate each patient's condition in 3D software. We then apply machine learning to our simulations to recommend the most optimum device design. The result is a dynamic and supportive device that changes to fit her body. And here's our first use case. We built the first customizable pessary indicated to treat pelvic organ prolapse and urinary incontinence. There's no other competitor on the market that is customizing medical devices in pelvic health. With our two-time international patent pending designs, AI process and trade secret manufacturing techniques, the barriers to enter are high and we've surveyed over 100 physicians and patients that support our solution too. In terms of how we monetize this, we work very similarly to Invisalign dental braces, where we work with physicians to prescribe and fit our devices to each patient. 
There's also a huge licensing opportunity here to work with physicians and researchers to customize their own medical devices. This is an opportunity to revolutionize women's pelvic health, and we're already halfway there with over three years spent in R&D. While we need $3 million Canadian dollars to launch our first indication to market, we've already lined up strategic partners such as Becton Dickinson and Company. We're looking to connect with the Japan Society of Obstetrics and Gynecology to obtain key opinion leaders in the Asia Pacific regions to represent their demographics in our product development and clinical plans. We're also looking to connect with 3D printing providers that specialize in direct 3D printing of medical grade silicone. In June of 2021, Japan's government invested 150 million yen in femtech startups to develop products and services that help women cope with these, women, with these pelvic health conditions. This could result in annual benefits of 1.3 trillion yen. We're a seasoned team with over 50 years of experience in medical device design collectively, and we're female founded. We're supported by world-class advisors and clinicians that are leading breakthrough innovations in their fields. And lastly, we're also supported by the industry, with our most recent recognition being named within Canada's top 20 most innovative companies. We're from Therapeutics, and we help women age with dignity and give back control to their bodies. Thank you. Hello, my name is Charlene Brophy. I'm the CEO of FOMED. We are an international telehealth company with a 25-year history of providing virtual care services and technology solutions for over 40 million people. We have a cloud-native omni-channel telehealth platform that is inclusive of more than 800 best practice clinical protocols to manage symptomatic presentations and provide appropriate direction of patient care. Our technology also facilitates remote patient monitoring, virtual care, behavioral health, and a digital front door which empower individuals to leverage tools that support management of their own healthcare needs. Our customizable and fully translatable solution offer the ability to add any special clinical algorithm or pathway to enable our clients to manage any acute or chronic medical condition their patients may have. Our technology safely connects patients with health professionals to deliver care when it is needed and where it is needed. It allows patients to self-triage their symptoms, to access clinically validated health information, and communicate with healthcare professionals using several channels. For example, telephone, video, and chat features are available. Japan, like Canada, and many other countries around the world are dealing with a declining population, but also an aging population with geographical impediments to accessing healthcare services. Studies have shown that more than 80% of emergency room visits could have been safely managed with a lower level of care. Our acute care systems are simply overwhelmed. Our emergency departments are buckling under the pressure. We can help. Our technology removes that barrier to clinical care by allowing you to connect patients remotely to your healthcare professionals. From a privacy and security perspective, our technology is designed to ensure client data and patient data is protected while in transit and while at rest. That is one of our biggest responsibilities. We want to help you support your patient population and to help you leverage the virtual care momentum that has been built with the ongoing pandemic. We have the technology, but what stands FOMED out from the rest is we also have the experience in using that technology. Today, we manage in excess of 100,000 triage and health information calls each and every month. We have licensed this platform and we have shared our expertise with clients throughout Canada, the United States, the Caribbean, Latin America, and in Asia with clients in Manila and in Singapore. Virtual care supports the vision for a sustainable health system, a system that deliver outcomes that matter to hospitals, the community, and most importantly, that matter to the patient. We want to introduce our platform to healthcare decision makers throughout Japan and to share lessons learned and to help you reduce the burden of overcrowded emergency departments. We want your goals to become our goals. That is how we operate, in the spirit of true partnership. Thank you. Hi, I'm Navanita, 
CEO and co-founder of HDAC Therapeutics. HDAC Therapeutics is a preclinical stage company developing the first ever disease modifying treatment for neurological diseases with axonal dysfunction. Axonal dysfunction is a common and unsolved problem in a range of neurological diseases, including peripheral neuropathy. In peripheral neuropathy, the nerves become damaged, resulting in pain, loss of sensation, and even paralysis in patients. As of now, there is no cure. One of the most pressing types of peripheral neuropathy in the Japanese population is painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy. It has an incidence of 32%, a 7% higher occurrence than the UK and the US, urging for a solution to address this issue. At HDAX Therapeutics, we are developing a targeted therapeutics platform for potentially transformative therapies of neurological diseases and several others through a highly promising approach a novel inhibition mechanism for the disease driver protein HTAC6 to drive a first-in-class disease-modifying treatment, overcoming challenges of efficacy, safety, and pharmacokinetics. Our unique, patented mechanism of action essentially allows our engineered compounds to grasp the target with both hands, as you can see through the two green arrows, while competitor drugs do so with just one hand. This allows our assets to demonstrate picomolar potency, a tenfold improvement from others, 800-fold selectivity for the target, while clinical candidates are just about six-fold selective, really improving the safety profile of our molecules. Most excitingly, with our lead program targeting HDAC6, HDAX has been able to design blood-brain barrier permeable inhibitors enabling CNS disease targeting to address the root of the disease for the first time. We at HTAX Therapeutics aim to safely and effectively address the underlying causes of diseases to have a true disease-modifying effect for some of the world's most debilitating diseases. Hello, my name is Linda Biggs and I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of Joni. So Joni is a feminine hygiene period care. So we make pads and tampons um, for people who menstruate. So I'm really excited to be heading to Japan and I'm interested in three key things for my trip to Japan. The first one is what does the feminine hygiene period care space look like in Japan? Who are the key competitors? How do people who menstruate purchase their period care products on a day-to-day -day basis? What stores are those? Do they do online shopping? Those type of behaviors. The second thing is period equity. So part of our values with Joni is that we want to make sure that everyone who menstruates has access to period care products. I am understanding that Japan has done um, some initiatives at the government level to address the um, period inequity. And I would be curious to know and learn more about what those initiatives are, where they're being rolled out, who is involved and what the key players are in that initiative in Japan. And finally, the third thing I would like to dig into are the regulations around feminine hygiene in Japan. I understand that there's strict regulation on the ingredients of the products. Um, our pads are made from bamboo, they're organic, they're sustainable. And so we would like to know whether we adhere to these standards or what we would need to do in order to potentially move into the Japanese market. Uh, so those are the three key things that I would really like to learn more about when I'm in Japan. And uh, thank you so much for your help with this. My name is Karen Schuett, co-founder and CEO of Livestock Water Recycling. Manure is nature's perfect fertilizer, but when stored in lagoons for eventual land spreading, this value is trapped. Not only is that value trapped, but farms will spend thousands of dollars each year moving the manure from the livestock to the farms to the field. Food producers are globally struggling with the cost and impact of manure. As an answer to this global problem, LWR developed and patented a technology for use on farm. What makes our plant unique is the way it separates particles from manure, creating value as precision fertilizers, feedstock for biogas projects, and recycling up to 75% of this as clean, recyclable water. Our system is available in five models to satisfy any type of farm and any size of farm. 
All equipment is manufactured in Canada with the most stringent quality control standards and is then shipped globally. Our value is seen on 22 commercial installations where farms are increasing their herd size on the same amount of land while increasing their feed crop production, improving livestock health, eliminating antibiotic use, and reducing their overall expenses. Most impactfully, they're creating new revenue streams, selling fertilizers, carbon credits, and manure systems, manure solids from our systems into biogas projects. The value creation is digitized on our mobile app and data dashboard, where our customers can access their reporting in real time. The most impactful market we have is the massively expanding renewable natural gas sector. This is exciting as it offers every country food and energy security by producing natural gas from manure and food waste. We have a massive long-term growth strategy with a diversified portfolio across multiple markets and geographies. Our path is through direct or distribution to farms and gas companies. We sell equipment and then have recurring revenue through our consumables, services, and data. We have surpassed $10 million in revenue over the last two years. Our team comes together with almost 20 years of oil and gas water treatment experience where we worked on hydrocarbon contaminated groundwater and we're bringing that knowledge to the manure market. The practice of lagoon storage is simply outdated. When we look to the future, we see thousands of farms using technology to monetize and modernize manure so they can feed more people on carbonated, carbon negative farms that are regenerating the planet. Thank you. Hi, it is a pleasure and honor to be presenting to you. My name is Iris Redinger and I'm the founder of Material Futures, a Canadian company which has patented a novel technology to produce dyes and pigments using colors found in nature. This picture was taken last year in Indonesia when seasonal floods resulted in people walking, bathing and drinking water contaminated by the textile industry. This is an ongoing problem around the world. Textile dyes are the second largest contributor to water pollution globally. And this is because of the chemicals and colors used to treat fabrics. I started Material Futures to find a better source of colors that would no longer perpetrate this problem. I turned to nature. Nature produces a rainbow of colors that are bright and vivid, a bird's feathers or the petals of a flower. Instead of petrochemicals and toxic reagents, at Material Futures, we work with nature to produce color in a totally brand new way. We program bacteria with the genetic information from other organisms on how to produce color. This is totally revolutionary. No such product exists today. To produce our colors at scale, we use fermentation, a common process of converting sugars into new molecules made by bacteria. You may have tried fermentation before when fermenting persimmons, which converts the sugars into a new sour taste. Our bacteria grow in a very controlled environment and we closely monitor it, the, the growing conditions. After the bacteria is finished fermenting, we extract our colorants and dry them into a powder. We have tested our dyes and pigments on natural and synthetic fibers in inks and cosmetics formulations. Our colors demonstrate excellent performance required to meet industry standards. For example, color fastness to rubbing washing, and in acidic and alkaline conditions. We have launched our first color, which is available for ordering in limited quantities, and we have several other colors in development. While I'm in Japan, I'm very much looking forward to meeting with organizations who are investigating new materials and colors. If you wish to try or adopt our bio coloring solution, please be in touch. I am very interested to meet with you. Thank you for your time. 
Please do not hesitate to be in touch if you have any questions, comments, or interest in our technology. I'm Catherine Winkler, founder and CEO of Mindful Garden Digital Health. I'm so pleased to be invited to a country that is leading the way in innovative care for older adults and to introduce you to our Mindful Garden biofeedback platform that will help better manage the negative impacts of delirium, a condition that adds $90 billion a year in direct health costs to North American hospitals. I know that Japan, just like Canada, is looking for new ways to manage the negative behaviors of delirium, such as agitation, hallucinations, and aggression, and especially to reverse the outcomes, showing that patients with delirium are nine times more likely to experience cognitive decline, including earlier onset of dementia. I know these statistics because I'm not only a CEO, but I am also Esther's daughter. My energetic mother went into the hospital for hip surgery so she could go back to enjoying her garden. After 15 days of over-medication with strong psychotropic drugs, Esther died a tragic death, and I began a journey to find a better way to treat delirium in our hospitalized elderly. I owned an award-winning digital design firm in Vancouver with clients including Nintendo of Canada and the 2010 Olympics. Our team took these same interactive digital technologies and brought them to the world of digital health. The timing was perfect. A number of world-renowned doctors, nurses, gerontechnologists, and hospital administrators were also looking for new delirium reduction strategies, and they agreed to be on our advisory. Together, we created Mindful Garden, a clinically validated behavior management platform that de-escalates agitation so we can help the brain and body recover more efficiently, send the patient home more quickly, and reduce cost to the hospital. Mindful Garden is testing as a standalone digital crash cart, but will also be available as a SaaS-only solution in the future. In June, we presented the results of our foundational clinical study at the invitation of the American Delirium Society, showing a significant lowering of agitation levels and a reduction of medications administered. We know that Japan is very aware of the needs of this demographically significant population, and I'm here to learn and to share information. We're seeking partnerships with investors, hospitals, pharmaceutical companies interested in combination therapies, and technology innovators. Together, we can find new ways to treat agitation in our hospitalized elderly. Thank you. Hi, my name's Samreen, and I'm one of the four co-founders and COO at Moment Energy. Electric vehicle batteries have an average of 80% original capacity when retired from the vehicle. Moment Energy provides clean, affordable, and reliable energy storage by repurposing retired electric vehicle batteries. Remote areas across the world rely heavily on diesel generators to meet their power needs. Since renewables such as solar are only available at certain times of the day, they need energy storage to complete the transition to clean energy. Energy storage can also help commercial and industrial facilities save on operational costs. Today, companies face grid blackouts and utility demand surge charges, which can cause cost commercial companies hundreds of thousands of dollars per year in demand charges. Energy storage is critical for clean, efficient, and reliable power. The problem is existing solutions are too costly and polluting. Now let's take a look at the market we're playing in. The global renewable energy storage market is worth 3 trillion yen with a compound annual growth rate of 25%. This market can be divided into four segments, residential, off-grid, on-grid, commercial and industri industrial, and utility scale applications. The residential and utility scale space is dominated by existing players but the middle two segments here are highly underserved, which creates an opportunity for Moment Energy to come in and provide a high-performing energy storage solution. 
Now, in the last two and a half years, Moment Energy has secured a supply chain of EV batteries from Nissan North America, Mercedes-Benz Energy, and two other major automakers who have Moment as the first North American company repurposing their EV batteries. Our competitive advantage breaks down into price, performance, and sustainability. Our batteries sell at two thirds the price of existing lithium ion solutions with a similar lifespan. Since we're using batteries that are meant to sustain automotive vehicles, they also have a high charge and discharge capability, which really benefits customers who need batteries for peak shaving applications. In terms of projects, we have deployed paid pilots in four different provinces across Canada and have 200 million yen for future projects in the pipeline. We have also completed a 380 million yen seed raise where we obtained grants worth over 280 million yen in additional funding. We're looking to partner with companies who need a second life solution for electric vehicle batteries and as well as potential partners that are interested in deploying energy storage systems in commercial projects. You can connect with us by sending me an email at samarine at momentenergy.com. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you to the Asia Pacific Foundation of Canada and for your attention here today. I'm Carla Spina, CEO and co-founder of NOAA Therapeutics, a preclinical biotech company based in Toronto, Ontario. At NOAA, it is our mission to remove complexity from patients' lives by redefining the treatment of inflammatory skin diseases with our novel multimodal therapeutics. Because at NOAA, we understand that people are complex. So it is not surprising that diseases are complex too. Diseases like atopic dermatitis. And for patients like Cooper, who is only eight years old and has been on multiple rounds of steroids, antibiotics, creams, and wraps, the current treatment paradigm is insufficient to address the complexity of this disease. And for the nearly 16 million patients in the US living with atopic dermatitis, 70% of those mild and moderate cases are still treated with a first line of topical corticosteroids, the same as it has been for the last 40 years. And despite new treatments being brought to market in the last 10 years, 89% of patients are still dissatisfied with current treatment options leaving a significant unmet need in the market. This is large in part due to the underlying heterogeneity of the disease itself, with multiple contributing factors, including immune dysregulation, barrier dysfunction, and microbial imbalance, all contributing to disease pathogenesis and chronicity. Where traditional approaches are limited, conventional therapies address individual disease targets in isolation, limiting the market potential for these individual therapeutic products and leaving large unmet needs in the marketplace. At NOAA, we are here to disrupt this convention. With our novel multimodal therapeutic solutions, we are seeking to more wholly address the complexity of this disease. Because at NOAA, we sat back and thought, what if we are able to address multiple disease targets simultaneously? We are pioneering the development of multimodal therapeutics to more wholly address this disease complexity, thereby opening untapped market opportunities with our singular therapeutic compound. NOAA 101 is a non-steroidal bioinorganic small molecule originally identified through phenotypic discovery with an ongoing innovation strategy through structure activity relationships. NOAA 101 has demonstrated the ability to not only resolve inflammation, both in vivo, demonstrating significant reduction of neutrophils, and in vitro, identifying attenuation of inflammatory response, but also endogenously upregulating growth factors to significantly upregulate RAC1 and ROA pathways to more rapidly restore skin's barrier function through upregulation of terminally differentiated proteins all while affording a broad spectrum antimicrobial activity, including MRSA, even at sublethal concentrations, long-term exposure. Positioning us as a serious threat to those therapeutics, not only in the marketplace, but also those coming up in development. This unique value proposition 
affords us an opportunity for rapid market penetration, estimating nearly $3 billion in sales for our primary U.S. case alone. With secondary indications identified for psoriasis, acne, seborrheic dermatitis, and scalp psoriasis, we have identified the opportunity for mergers or for partnerships and licenses by 2026 and potential merger acquisitions by 2028. We are currently seeking 900,000 Canadian through a safe mechanism in our pre-seed round to facilitate in vivo disease validation, de-risking our advancement into phase one readiness through a $6 million seed price round. The pre-seed in this pre-seed round, we will be seeking not only validation of our lead ID in vitro, but also in vivo, benchmarking against key competitors and de-risking in vitro GLP safety studies, all while filing key provisional filings to expand our intellectual property. We are led by a team with over 65 years from discovery through to commercialization, including key strategic partnerships and out-license agreements through 3M, with over 25 years of specific experience in skin and wound therapeutics, all supported by an extended network of advisors and support groups, including non-dilutive funders. Because at NOAA, it is our mission to redefine the treatment of inflammatory skin disease with a meaningful, impactful solution streamlined into a singular course of care. Thank you very much, and should you have any further information that you request, you will find my contact information below. Thank you. Hello. Konnichiwa, my name is Sue Blanchett, the CEO and co-founder at Originaire. What if there was a way to furnish fresh air indoors and save energy? Well, there is, and it's coming to an office near you soon. Introducing The Pinnacle by Originaire. It's the game-changing intersection of nature, biotech, and modern design. We produce freestanding regenerative air purification solutions for businesses. This negative emission technology removes particulate matter, CO2, harmful toxins such as volatile organic compounds, and viruses and bacteria from indoor air. It improves humidity and oxygen levels, delivering triple bottom line results to your clients, through improved HVAC efficiency, occupant health, and productivity metrics. We've registered seven patents and filed them in six countries. At Origin Air, we also measure indoor air quality data with air sensors. Unlike air sensor companies, we remediate the air inside buildings in addition to reporting on it. This can earn up to six points on environmental, social, and governance metrics for our clients. Our target market is commercial property managers and their tenants. We have pinnacles installed across Canada and are looking to find channel partners and manufacturing partners in Japan to work together to bring our solution to a building near you. We have combined traditional air purification super plants, and air quality sensors to make the most ultimate multi-barrier solution to air purification. It can clean up to 1,400 square feet and reduce your HVAC energy needs by up to 20%. Our big goal is to integrate our globally exclusive plants with the HVAC in your buildings. We're looking to meet with HVAC companies, manufacturing companies, property managers, and air quality sensor companies in Japan. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to meeting you in person this December in Tokyo and Osaka. I'm Sheila Stoneham, founder and CEO of Power Warehouse. We design and manufacture the most comfortable and stylish weighted wearables, vests, belts, and wrist and ankle weights. Our purpose is twofold. Firstly, to help fitness enthusiasts get more to their workout without changing their routine. Two, helping those with osteoporosis have better balance and bone health. 
our products are perfectly primed for the Japanese market. Why? Because over 50% of Japanese adults exercise through sport once a week, over 64% walk for exercise. By putting on a weighted vest, belt, wrist and ankle weights, you can burn more calories, up to 25% more, improve your cardiovascular fitness, and build more muscle. But that's not all. Our power weighted fitness vest is also perfectly primed for the therapeutic category, osteoporosis. Over 20 million Japanese adults are suffering from osteoporosis. By wearing our vest, they can live a more active, engaged life because they won't be so afraid of falling. Because by wearing the vest, it helps you feel more grounded and more balanced. It also helps to support great bone health. Now, what makes our power weighted vest, belt, wrist, ankle weight so unique? Three things. The first thing is that they are all supported by our stackable power weights. Second of all, they're comfortable. They're stylish, the fit is flattering, and the color is universal black. So how can we say that? Because we have mostly five-star ratings. We also have a less than 1% return rate, which is almost unheard of in this category, actually in any category. We have sold over 3,000 weighted vests, over 2,000 weighted belts in just under two years. We have distribution in major retailers across North America and Canada. Our proprietary stackable weights. We have three patents that we've filed on these weights. One is they are stackable, they nest together so they don't shift or shave. They create a slimming silhouette. Second of all, they have cooling technology to keep you comfortable in warmer weather. And the third is a patent on the technology that supports osteoporosis. I'm not gonna to talk too much about that today. Should we get into a discussion um, down the road, happy to share more details. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for either a distributor to help us distribute our products and get them in the hands of, of the Japanese uh, consumers, or we're looking for someone who might be interested in a joint venture to help uh, develop our weighted technology. Either way, I welcome the opportunity to see you in December and to start a, a dialogue about how we could potentially work together. At Pragmaclin Research, we have a vision to be the global leader in supporting neurologists in assessing movement disorders through our digital technology. And our mission is to use innovative digital technology to be able to track neurological disease progression. Worldwide, we see an aging population leading to an increase in cases, specifically Parkinson's disease. Subjective assessments lead to 25% of those cases as being misdiagnosed and patients are only being seen once a year, having long wait times to even be diagnosed, and clinicians are having high patient loads, resulting in a lot more time spent reporting and less time with hands-on care. So why now for Pregmaclin? Digital tools are being widely accepted in healthcare. We see more objective measurements leading to fewer misdiagnoses. As well, we're saving time on reporting, allowing for clinicians to have higher patient loads. It is also an ability for us to uniquely serve those remote communities and areas of the world that don't have as much access to neurologists. Our solution is the PRIM software. PRIMS stands for Parkinson's Remote Interactive Monitoring System. This system is able to run through all of the motor and non-motor assessments of Parkinson's disease using an internationally recognized scale. Before coming into the office, a patient would be able to complete a pre-appointment survey on a weekly basis to provide more data points and caring between appointments. From here, they would then enter the office and be able to run through the motor assessment. This is a camera-based assessment that measures the motor skills of a patient and rates the severity from zero to four. This is able to give clinicians more data to be able to adjust medications or change treatments between appointments. The market size for Parkinson's disease alone is a $1.1 billion market opportunity, but as we scale to other diseases, this becomes a $5.5 billion size when we include stroke rehabilitation, brain injury, and more. The PRIM software is highly competitive by using existing off-the-shelf hardware in a unique way. We are able to offer a low-cost package solution that is great competitors for the systems on the market that don't cover all motor and non-motor symptoms of the disease. 
PRIMS will be sold business to business through a SaaS model directly to hospitals, clinics, research organizations, and down the road pharmaceutical companies. We have been able to leverage $1.1 million in non-dilutive funding here in Canada to be able to develop our MVP and expand our team. We've also secured contracts for four validation trial sites across the globe. The next steps for us are to complete validation trials around the world to be able to have more data points and improve our overall software. We also plan on getting regulatory approval through the FDA and being fully compliant with our patents filed and expanding our team. The team itself consists of myself and my co-founder, a Parkinson's patient himself, myself as a PhD student, as well as a team of developers, finance lead, researchers, neurologists, scientific advisors, and more. This is where you come in. We are seeking partners who can help us complete validation trial work, raise investment, be in contact with the local societies, patients, and neurologists, and also pharmaceutical companies. We look forward to working with you. Thank you. So welcome to PregmaClin, where the future of care starts at home. Hi everyone, my name is Janet Chi. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Pure Minds Neuropharma. Pure Minds is an exciting precision medicine company focused on finding breakthrough solutions for devastating neurological disorders. Here is an overview of Pure Minds. Our scientific team is led by world-renowned experts in neuroscience and neurology from leading institutions. We have a best-in-class clinical asset, Pure001 OGA inhibitor targeting ALS and frontal temporal dementia. The same drug discovery process that led to the award-winning nuclear pore complex theories in neurodegeneration and the discovery of our lead clinical asset will continue to develop new drug candidates to expand and de-risk our pipeline. We're seeking partnership in innovation and drug discovery and development in the CNS field. Here is our executive team. I'm ex-corporate and investment banker at Scotia Capital and a serial entrepreneur. Our co-founder and chief scientific officer, Dr. Jonathan Brima, was awarded Forbes Top 30 Under 30 in Science when he was a postdoc fellow at Johns Hopkins University. Our chief medical officer, Dr. Albert Agro, is a seasoned biotech executive with close to 30 years of experience in drug development and commercialization. Our general counsel, Robin Sugar, and acting CFO, Rob Aladina, round out the C-suite. We're proud to have world leaders in neurodegenerative disease research in our scientific advisory board. That includes Dr. Li Hui Tsai, Director of Pickhower Brain Institute of MIT, Dr. Steve Finkbeiner, Director of Neurodegenerative Disease Research in UCSF, and Dr. Mark Metzen, the former head of neuroscience of NIH. Using the data-driven, multi-omics approach, Dr. Grima was able to discover the nuclear pore complex theories in neurodegeneration that has received various prestigious awards. This important discovery has led to the traffic jam theory in that molecular traffic jams in the brain is causing disruption of nucleocytoplastic transport, causing the brain cells to die. What our scientists are working on now is how to resolve this traffic jam issue to save the brain cells from dying. This discovery has led to our lead clinical asset, Pure001, an OGA inhibitor targeting ALS and frontal temporal dementia. Based on the nuclear pore complex theories, Dr. Grima and Dr. Agro developed a clinical pipeline with potential indications for ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. It has been my pleasure presenting to you Pure Minds Neural Pharma. Thank you. My name is Sepide, and I am CEO and co-founder of QuadraCore. At QuadraCore, we are developing the next generation of environmental analyzer. Here are some highlights about our company, such as we have a team with over 100 years of combined experience. We own all of our IP, and we already have two strategic strong partnerships with about 70 units commitment by 2024. Our technology is based on proven technology of triple quadruple mass spectrometer. One of the current challenges of environmental testing and monitoring is that there is no access to highly sensitive analysis in real time and in the field. Current analyzers that are mass spectrometers are bulky, expensive, complicated, and since they are lab-based, they do not perform in real time. 
we are solving this problem and we're addressing this the um, environmental testing problem with our VOC analyzer, which, which enables users to accelerate decision making. We're improving analysis workflow by pro providing transportable and compact direct analysis analyzers. The, these will be simple operation and very cost effective. We can go in many directions with our instrument. However, we've chosen to go for the mobile environmental testing. And it will go in the field and provide results in real time, solving a real issue. Here are some of the reasons why QuadroCore's UniQ can add significant value to the environmental in industry. The first proprietary direct analysis sample introduction will be on these UniQ instruments. And which provides detection of intact molecules, means high sensitivity and reduced false positive and false negative. It will also be user friendly and transportability will reduce sample loss. The global MS market is more than five billion and more and is about 400 million for environmental testing globally. Japan's market share is about 10%. We do have multiple product pipeline over the next um, five to seven years. And our uh, mission will be to expand into the entire triple quad mass spec market. We will have five uh, future products based on the same UniQ core technology. The ownership price will be around 120 um, K average selling price with recurring revenue, and the company will be making over 100 million revenue by 2027. There is no direct competition. However, our indirect competition um, does not have the same si reduced size or a reduced price of our instruments. Currently, we're building our pilot units for evaluation and collaboration. At the same time, we're getting ready for production and assembly manufacturing. We pride in having a diverse team and key personnel. And as directors, we benefit from the support of advisory. Thank you so much and join our mission for smart detection made simple. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia and I am the CEO and co-founder of Rainstick where we're driving the future of water innovation in the home. We are doing this because less than 1% of the world's water is accessible fresh water, yet every time it's used, it's wasted. The population is anticipated to double over the next 80 years, but in our residential homes, we're using over 300 liters of water per person per day. And 50% of that water use occurs in the bathroom, so that is where we're starting. Currently, the only innovation with showering to date has simply been restricting the flow rate. We see there's a way better opportunity to allow someone to live sustainably without compromising their experience. And that's why we've developed Rainstick Shower, which is a shower appliance that saves 80% water, up to 80% energy, while providing double the flow rate. So we offer three gallons per minute at the shower head. We are able to do this through point of use recirculation. So we use the same drop of water up to six times and we clean it in real time. So very simply, we bring in fresh grid supplied water every shower. So we don't share water in between users, except instead of going down the drain, we capture, we clean, and we circulate that water in real time to avoid waste. As a result of Rainstick, a user or a property manager or utility also saves a substantial amount of money because of the energy and the water savings data. So we are um, newer to market and we've seen a fantastic response so far within the North American market. We participated at the Consumer Electronics Show, which is essentially the Academy Awards for the tech industry. And Rainstick won out of 1,800 applications, won Best of Innovation. We went to the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show, which is the largest, again, in North America. And Rainstick won the Gold Award. We are very interested in meeting with the Japanese market uh, with potential partners industry players to see what sort of distribution relationships there may be for the Japanese market, and even eventually looking at what sort of technologies would be very applicable for the Japanese market. 
So I very much look forward to the opportunities to meet you and to see if Rainstick Shower may be a fit. Our website is rainstickshower.com. Again, my name is Alicia. Thank you very much and look forward to meeting you in Japan in December. Hi, I'm Rena Tabata, the CEO and co-founder of ShareSmart, a digital health company providing telehealth and practice management solutions to healthcare professionals. And I'm delighted to be meeting new and existing Japanese partners as a senior mission delegate. There's been a surge in virtual medical appointments, but patients and doctors are frustrated with the unreliable technology. For patients, it's difficult to sign on, stay on, and be seen. And for doctors, telemedicine is hardly a profitable exercise. And despite advances in mobile security, doctors continue to use unsecure apps for collaboration. And in the case of Japan, avoid using smartphones altogether. That's why we created ShareSmart. ShareSmart emulates the familiar in-person experience and is proven to enhance patient outcomes and reduce the cost of care, all while being privacy compliant. On smartphones, ShareSmart facilitates secure collaboration among healthcare teams. Patients show up for their appointment and enter a waiting room as doctors go from room to room to provide care. A patient running late or a sudden no-show? No problem. The doctor can see who's ready and waiting to be seen. Using the smartphone app, healthcare professionals can obtain patient consent and chat securely with teams or even collect photos for academic publications and conferences. Our 30 plus member team is led by three co-founders and an experienced CTO. Together, we've completed complex deals with groups like Apple and the Canadian Medical Association. Alternatives to ShareSmart include apps like Doxy and Teladoc, which have great accessibility. However, these apps don't expect poor technology literacy or networks, which is the case for the majority of our users' patients. Others make implementation a long process, and that's where we step in. We are in 75 countries with our messaging app, which is generating revenue. We anticipate similar marketing market penetration with the newest of our product offering, which is the telemedicine solution. We understand that the legislative and health insurance landscape in Japan is unique. So we are looking to meet with hospital and long-term care providers, hardware and wearables companies, and network providers who would be interested in working with a company with experience navigating legislative changes in health information, privacy, telemedicine, reimbursements from insurers and clinical workflow optimization so that they can be the impetus for modernized healthcare collaboration and virtual health services in Japan. We are also looking for investors and strategic partners interested in exposure to the winning track record of a trusted Canadian company. We'd be delighted to chat about our $5 million round. Thank you everyone for your time. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Nusa Tamzaman. I'm the founder and CEO of Sanoveda CHP Inc. Sanoveda CHP is a subsidiary of the parent company called Sinoveda. And the story began in 2006 when both my husband and I founded the company, which was based on a platform technology with the hope to bridge the gap of Eastern medicine with Western or pharmaceutical precision. Together, we bring 30 years of uh, experience in this pharmaceutical uh, industry, and we have been able to use uh, this patented platform technology, which allows us to identify and quantify active ingredients from a complex mixture such as botanicals, and we have been able to develop 
multi-active, multi-target pharmaceuticals as well as natural health products that are patentable. The uniqueness about this technology is that the products that are developed using PPT are consistent from batch to batch and the quality of the products can meet the standard of a pharmaceutical. Over the years, both our company and our technology have received multiple awards and recognitions globally. We have 14 natural health products that are approved in Canada and this is the list along with their NPN numbers. Today, I will just focus on our five key products that are distributed both nationally and internationally. The first one is uh, Effectical, which is a highly soluble and absorbable calcium supplement, which is patented worldwide and clinically tested. And we have shown both in terms of safety and efficacy. Effectical was better than our, uh, than our leading um, competitors. And this product can be taken both uh, uh, with or without food and um, it does not cause any uh, constipation, gas and bloating. Um, the second product is a topical cream for pain relief, which is based on uh, traditional medicine and it works synergistically to reduce pain, inflammation, swelling, and it is highly fast acting and long lasting pain relief. And in three weeks since we launched in Amazon, we be became the number one painkiller um, uh, product uh, in, in Amazon. We are selling both in US, Canada, China, and Hong Kong. Um, and then the next product is called Ginseng. In Bangladesh, we have been selling it for 13 years and it is the best seller there. Um, this product called Cordyceps, um, is an immune booster. Also, we are selling in Hong Kong for 10 years, also a bestseller. And Lingji, which is derived from mushrooms, also sold in Hong Kong for more than 10 years, also a bestseller. So you can see that um, our products um, are, are uh, worldwide are doing quite well. And um, in the future plan for, for this company, is to develop new products that are uh, we are working already and in, in the pipeline are in the area of acne, anti-aging, sexual health, hair growth, sleep disorders, and immune boosters. And we hope to take the uh, company public in, by 2027. These are the markets that uh, we have uh, started that is Canada, US, China, Hong Kong. We are working with Vietnam, Singapore, uh, India, and Kuwait. And of course, in this conference, we are very much looking forward to collaborate uh, with strategic partners in Japan to either uh, distribute our existing products or co-develop products using uh, botanical sources. So if you're interested, please come and talk to us. We'd be more than happy to uh, talk with you and and to see if uh, we can do some business together um, so with that I would like to just uh, mention that we have a very strong team in our company these are some of our team members and uh, I would like to thank you for for your attention and I hope to talk to you soon thank you hi I'm Josephine Yam an AI lawyer, AI ethicist, and the CEO and co-founder of Skills for Good AI. Skills for Good AI helps startups and small and medium businesses, or SMBs, comply with global privacy and AI laws seamlessly and cost-effectively. Our done-for-you subscription packages provide global compliance support on a single platform. Japan has emerged as a global leader in responsible AI under the direction of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has committed to rapidly growing Japan's entrepreneurial ecosystem through responsible AI innovation. Thus, venture capital firms, angel investors, and accelerators actively invest in high-growth Japanese companies. Their investments are helping these companies export innovative technologies worldwide. The Harvard Business Review noted that new AI regulations are coming. Is your organization ready? 75% of 
of the world will be covered by hundreds of privacy and AI regulations worldwide. Here's the problem. 90.7% of startups and SMBs struggle to comply with all the privacy and AI regulations where they have customers because of the following, a lack of time, a lack of staff expertise, and a lack of budget. Privacy non-compliance can lead to startup failure and bankruptcy. So what's the solution? Skills for Good AI helps startups and SMBs comply with global privacy and AI laws seamlessly and cost-effectively. Our done-for-you subscription packages provide global compliance support on a single platform. We leverage AI and robotic process automation with best-in-class managed services. We remove the pain of global privacy and AI compliance so entrepreneurs can focus on growing their businesses globally. Our goal in this trade mission is to meet with venture capitalists, angel investors, and accelerators that invest in global Japanese startups and SMBs. We will discuss how Skills for Good AI can help future-proof their investments from the global non-compliance risks of their portfolio companies. We want to work with them to ensure that high-growth Japanese companies comply with global privacy and AI regulations so these companies can grow and contribute to Japan's global leadership in responsible AI innovation. Because when these Japanese companies go global, everyone wins. Learn more at skillsforgood.com. Imagine if we could capture the sun's energy from anywhere, from windows, building cassettes, electric vehicles, or even cell phone cases. However, conventional silicon technology is not suitable. We need a new material and technology to fulfill the requirements for those applications. I'm Dr. Sahar Sam, co-founder and chief science officer of Solaire, and I invented a fabrication process for thinking solar cells. My co-founder and CEO is a five-time serial entrepreneur with over 100 patents under his belt. Our chief development officer has over 25 years of experience in scaling coding technologies, having worked with Zor, Creo, and Tri America. Our IP strategy includes protecting 44 innovations. We have developed a comprehensive technology stack, as you can see in the graphic, for ProfSkite solar cells from material to application level. 25 patent application has been filed and two have, have been granted in the US and Canada. We enable photovoltaic industry to make solar cells with a new material called ProfSkite, which has the potential to generate up to two times higher power compared to silicon with a more affordable, simpler, and shorter value chain. Building a silicon solar panel factory could cost as much as $1.5 billion, whereas a ProfSkart solar panel factory would cost only $100 million. ProfSkart shortens the value chain and uses widely available and abundant material. Our first product is a ProfSkite base ink that enables manufacturers to develop solar panels for different innovative applications. Our solar ink is compatible with industry accepted coding processes, including slot die coding, blade coding, and inkjet printing. The partners that we're looking for could be part of solar module or display manufacturing value chain, thin film coding manufacturers, or they could also be uh, in industries other than solar energy who want to build new product around solar. Together, we could build applications that go beyond our imaginations, from smartwatches to photovoltaic windows and space applications. Our solar ink has a long shelf life, provide high power conversion efficiency, and is compatible with different scaling manufacturing processes. There are only two other companies marketing ProfSkite Inc. However, their ink is only suitable for research and small size coding processes. Solar is looking for thin-thin coders and solar module manufacturers to test 
pilot and co-manufacture the Profskite ink and Profskite solar modules. Companies and industries that uh, you can see in this slide are example of the potential partners, whether they are into roll-to-roll -roll solar module fabrication, working on high-performance thin-film Profskite solar cells, or contributing in implementing and installation of Profskite solar modules, among others, there would be great opportunities to work together. Thank you. Sunco Products is a pioneer of water-based nail polish. Founded in 2003 by a Canadian chemist and mother of two girls, Ying Chun Liu. With her chemistry background, Ying created and developed a completely non-toxic and water-based nail polish that is safe for both adults and children. Over the years, we've kept on innovating with new products to add to our line, including natural hair products, plant-based natural nail polish removers, and more. We make and manufacture all our products at our Canadian facility using state-of-the-art technology and fully computerized machinery. Under our children's brand, Suncoat Girl, we offer all-natural water-based peel-off nail polish in fun, vibrant colors and gift sets designed especially for little ones. Our nail polishes comply with Health Canada, US FDA, and European cosmetic and toy regulations. We offer individual nail colors, duo sets, and gift sets with over 50 shades to choose from. Sunco Girl also has scented water-based nail polish filled with fruity scents that smell as good as they look. Our Sunco Girl product line includes gift sets of all sizes, whether you're planning a sleepover, manicure night, or traveling on the go, we have a gift set that's perfect for any occasion. Here are our top selling gift sets with 2 milliliter mini nail colors. They are flying off the shelves in retail stores and around the world online. One of our most unique gift sets is our color creation kit. This kit comes with five nail colors in squeezable bottles that allow children to create five of their own nail polish colors. Just mix, shake, and paint. Here are some more gift sets with mineral eyeshadows and natural lip gloss. These retail counter displays are compact and filled with bright colors and playful graphics to display Suncoat Girl nail polishes. Our products have won numerous awards and is distributed globally, including retail giant Walmart, pharmacies, and more. Sunco is currently being distributed across the United States, Canada, Europe, and parts of Asia. Another unique product we offer is our Sunco 100% plant-based nail polish remover. This remover is corn and soya based, biodegradable, vegan, and non-drying to nails. Removes all nail polish colors, water-based nail polish, as well as conventional nail colors. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm the founder and CEO of Think Dirty. Today, I'm really excited to introduce to you what Think Dirty is about and how I think that uh, we can work with some of the Japanese organic beauty brand partners. Think Dirty is the easiest way to learn about ingredients in consumers' cosmetic and personal care product. We connect natural beauty brand shoppers to organic clean beauty brands. The reason why we exist is because ingredient labels are really hard to read for everyday consumer. At the same time, for brand partners, it's very challenging to explain what those ingredients mean at the moment when they purchase. That's the reason why we exist. As we all know, the global mainstream beauty market is growing exponentially. With organic beauty market is growing to $54 billion. There's a lot of Asian, especially Japanese natural beauty brand, 
would like to reach the customer in North America. And being listed in our app is the perfect solution for that. Think30 currently have over 7 million downloads in the App Store and majority 75 to 85% users are from US. They are excited and ready to learn more about natural organic beauty brands located in Japan. So this is how our app works. When a user go to our app, they can browse through different products. And when they tap into the product screen, we explain every single ingredients of that product in very simple term. We share with them uh, any relevant research and study and help them make the informed purchasing decision. 98% of our audience are women. They all really concern about their health and also make a purchasing decision for the family. They also very open to discover new natural brand, no matter where the brands come from. So that's why we think it's perfect for the Japanese organic beauty partners. Our app has over 40,000 five-star review in the App Store and Google Play. is 100% organic without any pay marketing. Our app grows primarily via word of mouth. Um, most of our users learn about our app because their friends and family share with them. These are some of the past brand partners that we, we work with. They are globally uh, located and a lot of them are located in other, another continent because they're interested to reach the audience base in North America. That's all I have for you today. I'm looking forward to meet uh, you in person in Japan to discuss more about any other collaboration opportunity. Thank you for watching. Konnichiwa. Watashi wo namae wa Natalia desu. Watashi wo Nihon ni moku yatte atadaki arigatou gozaimasu. Hi. I'm Natalia Lumen and I'm the founder of Thyphal Life Health. Our mission is to bring integrated care to thyroid patients globally. These are people who are really struggling to get the care they need and we are here to fix that. Thyroid care in Japan is of real importance. With the recent Fukushima disaster, the number of people with thyroid cancer has grown exponentially. Like in Ukraine, up to Chernobyl, where I was born. In addition, thyroid diseases in general have been increasing very rapidly. This is why Thai for Life can add a lot of value to people of Japan with our support tools. First, a little about me. My career has spent the European Bank, the World Bank, an MBA at Tax School of Business at Dartmouth, and Bain where I manage high-performing teams and solve the most complex business problems in the world. I've led Thai for Life to be featured in major publications and received a global award as the women-led tech startup of 2020 and trailblazing woman to watch in 2021. Prior to launching Thai for Life, I had been leading a very rich and fulfilling life. As a consultant at Bain, I was traveling the world and in my spare time, I was doing all these cool things such as improv theater, but that all changed with a routine doctor visit when I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and all of a sudden I had to improvise my own life. Long story short, I left my career to focus on my health and in the process, I built a health solution that is Thai for Life. Let's take a step back for a second. There are millions of people just like me the numbers are staggering. It's one in eight women and one in 40 men. If you personally don't already know someone with a thyroid condition, ask the women in your life because the odds are that they will. I'll give you a crash course on what that means. The thyroid gland is in your neck and it sends hormones to every cell and organ in your body. Too much or too little energy in your cells and organs causes a lot of problems. 
such as brain fog, fatigue, memory loss. It's different for everyone and the list goes on. Science for Life is the first and only global community platform and tracking app that supports all thyroid conditions. Our core offering is delivered via mobile tracking tools, content, and community, and in the future, potentially a virtual care team. Here is what our application looks like. We translated the app into Japanese in preparation for this visit, so you can download it on your phones in Japanese. We currently have a monthly active user base of over 2,000 people and over 22,000 installs globally. We already have strong partnerships, such as the Thyroid Cancer Association globally, based in the US, the Endocrine Society, as well as the American Thyroid Association. We are going to solve a major problem in thyroid care. So if you'd like to join us in this mission, I invite you to email me at natalia at typhoid.com and I will get back to you immediately. Thank you for your time. Arigatou gozaimasu. My name is Jessica Yang, I'm CEO and co-founder of TalkTech Technologies. TalkTech is an award-winning digital health tech company based in Canada. At TalkTech, our vision is to enable safer and healthier aging. Joining this trade mission to Japan, it's a great opportunity to build business partnership to bring TalkTech's smart care product into the Japanese market. Close to 90% of seniors, if given the choice, would choose to age in their homes. However, with the increase in illness and safety risks resulting from chronic disease and families living apart, the concern around healthy and safe senior aging is a challenge families face. Our mission at TalkTech is to develop technology products and innovation to support healthcare providers and caregivers to achieve enhanced and safer care for seniors. Working with the Canadian senior care providers, academics and researchers, TalkTech has developed innovative technology solutions to support healthy aging by focusing on senior safety independence and early detection of health risks. With Japan being identified as a super-aged society with a low birth rate, TalkTech's innovations offer the Japanese market ideal solutions to better support its aging population. VeryCare is a smart care platform that enables seniors to age independently and allows caregivers to provide improved, proactive and personalized care for their loved ones. At the slightest sign of something indicating a senior may not be their normal self, such as disruptive sleep or increased inactivity, the VeriCare system will automatically alert caregivers of these changes so that action can be taken before a serious medical issue arises. TalkTech's VeriCare platform now integrates our award-winning SleepSense bed sensor. SleepSense offers critical sleep reporting information such as sleep quality, off and in-bed alerts, and vital sign data while asleep. It is the first of its kind in the market designed for aged care. VeriCare and SleepSense offer care providers the ability to customize and enhance senior care for residents and at the same time improve staffing productivity and efficiency. Our products are available in North America, Australia, the UK, and China, supporting thousands of seniors aging in place. If your organization is part of the healthcare ecosystem, we'd love to meet and chat during these events. We're looking forward to working with you in achieving safer and healthier aging in Japan. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Arit Van Ham. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder of ToyFX Inc. Tonal fungus is one of the most stubborn and prevalent infections in humans. Millions of people suffer from onychomycosis, which is a fungal infection of the toenails. And for example, in Japan alone, some 12 to 15 million people suffer from toenail fungus. And toe effects want to change that. As scientists, we are passionate about developing technology that really works. For this reason, we have created Clear Toe Therapy Photo Disinfection System to clear up yellow, crumbly toenails in 8 to 12 treatments 
in a professional food care setting. ToyFX is a medical device company that develops, designs, and manufactures light-based treatment for this problem. We, have, we are based actually here in Canada, creating the end-to-end -end standard for care for clinicians everywhere. The past two years have been extremely busy. Over 120 uh, food care clinics across Canada are now ToyFX customers and have administered the ToyFX treatment to hundreds of patients. These facts is actually make me very happy. We've spent a lot of time talking to our customers, developing new products, and making toy effects better. better. Onychomycosis is actually invisible alignment. People do not talk about it and go extraordinary lengths to hide it. It's infection with serious cosmetics implications, and people spend lots of money trying to get rid of it. Because of this reason, tonal fungus therapies have grown to be $4.7 billion market. This is actually a global problem with rough 10% of the world's population suffering from tonal fungus. What makes ToyFX an exciting opportunity is that this infection affects people all over the world in rough equal numbers. Our competitive advantage is very simple. We focus on safety and efficacy. In terms of safety, the product is not toxic and has no side effects. The efficacy is comparable or actually and even superior to competing technology and the treatment is delivered in clinic, which our customers love because they say that actually it, it promotes compliance because they do it for the patients. The best part of my days in a toy effects is when I hear happy patients. And I wanted to share one recent testimonial with you. A patient, uh, she is 64 years old. She had tonal fungus for over 30 years. And after completing the treatment of, to of toy effects, she looked at her nail and she said, wow, I actually can see my toenails now. So think about it for 30 years, she had fungus. So thank you for listening. If you'd like to know more about Toy Effects, I'd love to hear from you. Please reach out. Thank you. My name is Natalia and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Vive Air. Viewer makes every space healthier and more sustainable. When you look to any building uh, and its operation, it is critical to ensure that it's well managed, including ensuring energy efficiency, reducing contamination and virus transmission, establishing the loyalty and trust of people and reducing downtime. I have experience of over 10 years working with multinational corporations and managing high profile projects of uh, monitoring and improving air quality and building management. Weaver is a system that provides this type of solution. It's a safety as a service system that optimizes cost savings and increases public trust. We have small devices that we deploy throughout the space uh, that are context aware and enable better diagnosis of anomalies. Decision support software enables uh, cost savings and establishment of trust for the building um, occupants. Weaver provides cost and energy savings as well as reputation benefits that lead to ROI within six months. We have already validated the solution and support of many universities who have been helping us uh, develop and test it. And our system shows better performance in terms of anomalies detectors and also enable uh, better decisions. The proprietary technology is composed of context-aware data collection system, data models that we develop in-house, pattern recognition and risk prevention engines. There is IP both in hardware and software. The value proposition is 10 to 20 X ROI and is over 250,000 per building per year savings. We already validated use cases across facility management, uh, tenants, uh, consultants, as well as HVAC contractors. We are have scalable distribution model working not just with the operators, but also suppliers of services. And we already have great case studies and uh, traction uh, with major hotels, construction companies, and transportation companies. 
We have application in transportation and buildings for ventilation, uh, maintenance and sustainability and safety and wellness. And we have case studies that shows great results in time savings, cost savings, and ability to qualify for different benefits and incentives. We have over 20 awards for this solution and a wonderful team with background in engineering, operations, management, data science, as well as advisors in uh, managing huge operation like uh, Marina Bay Sands, as well as uh, analytics, AI, and uh, real estate investment. We are very much looking forward to joining you on your journey to make your building safer and more sustainable. We already have Japanese partners and customers, and we are uh, very much committed to expanding Japan to find partners, supply chain, uh, and distribution, as well as customers for piloting this solution. Thank you very much for your attention. And please join me to make every space healthier and more sustainable. Globally, approximately 2 billion females are currently in their reproductive years, meaning they menstruate five to seven days every month and will do so for an average of 45 years of their lives. The menstrual product market is not a niche market. Products to help women manage menstruation easier, more conveniently, and with more dignity have seen very little in the way of innovation or positive disruption. This is where women's global health innovation comes in. Hello, I'm Lisa Hertz, founder and CEO of Women's Global Health Innovations and the developer of the Bee Free Cup. The Bee Free Cup is the world's first physically antibacterial menstrual cup made with a novel silicone developed in partnership with material science engineers at the University of Toronto in ESPCI Paris in France. Women's Global Health Innovations is a for-profit social enterprise committed to our mission to research, develop, and manufacture user-centered in design, innovative menstrual products to improve women's lives. The Bee Free Cup is differentiated from competitor brands. It physically prevents a biofilm from forming on its surface, making it easier to clean from all other cups that require more complex cleaning protocols. And we continue to innovate. Currently, in partnership with McMaster University here in Canada, we are developing the first environmentally sustainable and flushable menstrual products that not only can prevent vaginal infections, but if infections are present without the use of antibiotics, can therapeutically treat them. From an environmental perspective around the world every year, over 45 billion single-use plastic-based menstrual products, tampons and pads, are disposed many of which end up in landfill where they can take upwards of 200 to 800 years to decompose. Millions of girls around the world are now switching to reusable menstrual products. Gen Zers are entering the market in big numbers. According to a Nielsen's global survey from 2018, 80% of Gen Zers feel strongly that companies should help the environment. This is also reflected in the APEC region where 82% of Southeast Asian Gen Zers claim they prefer products from ethical brands. In 2020, the feminine hygiene product market was valued at 38.9 billion US dollars. It is projected to reach 69.7 USD in 2030. We have been on the market since 2020 with revenues to date of over 700,000. We have raised over 1.4 million and are 85% non-diluted. With over 25,000 users globally, we are ready to scale internationally. And we are seeking a distribution partner in the Asia Pacific region. I thank you for your time and your attention today.